I'm on my way down pick up some pallets of wood because we're gonna be building some shelves We've been struggling a little bit with organization around the RV park And we kind of thought having some nice shelves to stack different things on will make things look a lot cleaner That lift is pretty cool right there. I've never seen that before. I think they're doing some work on the roof there That's an awesome little unit looks like remote controlled there we go. The nicest thing about this place is they let you use a forklift for free. So whenever I got to load something up, I don't need to bring somebody with me for a hand. I can just use this, this forklift and don't got to pay nothing for it. All right, we're loaded up, put the forklift back, throw some straps on. This is why I love my flatbed. So easy, load things on, doesn't need to be pretty. And then I just throw some straps on, got some nice D-rings and we're, we're set to go. Boss man texted me. He said he's wondering where I'm at. I guess I'm taking longer than he thought, but he's going to be doing most of the building, so he wants to get working this morning. Here we go. Pedal to the metal. Let's see what the Duramax has got. I'm flooring it. It rolls a lot of coal. 70, 75. I'm speeded. No stop sign, no cop, no stop. Here we go. All right, man, open up. Okay, hold up, hold up. Here you go. What were you doing on your phone? You didn't see me pull in? Oh, I saw you pull in. I was scared. I was staying back. You came in pretty quick. All right, man. What's the plan, Stan? This is all your idea. Yeah, so as you see, we have all these pallets here, and it's just, we need to get them off the ground, you know, in case it rains or whatever. So we got to figure out where we want the shelf. I was thinking here, the only issue is obviously we have this door, so we will lose access to it if we do want to do it here. Fair enough. We could. I see what you're saying. There's a little electrical utility box there, the water meter. Yeah, all here. Or we could put it on the far edge here and kind of block these windows. We wouldn't be blocking any doors. You know what? Let's do it. I like that idea. We'll do it right over here. All right. So, Perfect. yeah, let's unload and get these things built. I just got a message that one of our customers is going to stay a few nights and he wants to rent a golf cart. So I'm going to go take care of that. All right. OK. Oh, is, is that the person who renewed staying a bit longer? Yep. Yep. A few okay. more days. So we got three hundred dollars from that. And then I got to go deliver the golf cart. So that'll be another. I think he, he wants that for two days. So another 200 bucks pretty good deal 200 how much are you charging this guy 100 bucks a day man man 50 a day 50 a day well Come i was on, thinking start off high on. and if he said yes right away so well, let's just keep okay. going higher okay it's up to you but if people start to not want those golf carts then we got to lower that down absolutely we're trying to find that equilibrium price right now so we start high Boss man, boss man, boss man, you outdid yourself again. Yes, sir. I was hoping I could build a second shelf, but instead I just got one giant one built. That so is we can always expand huge. out if we need. That is awesome. Yeah, and we still got space on the top. Not that we can reach it or anything, but we, we got space up there. Well, maybe one day we'll get like those nice telehandlers, you know, and then that'll go really high. Ooh, that would be nice. But all right, man, we have so much work to do. So let's head back to the actual field or I guess RV park because we got to get stuff prepared for this restaurant. All right. So my thought is we need like a centralized area at this park. I'm thinking, you know, as, as time goes on, we're going to expand out more and more what we have there. Start off with a restaurant, you know, add some seating out, outdoor, indoor, and then hopefully someday maybe a little pond or something. People could dip their feet in. But I'm thinking like, you know, middle of our area is probably around here. But we'll likely have to eat a bit into this corn. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So you're thinking somewhere restaurant here. Pond in the future, honestly, obviously this like this field is totally flat. Doesn't matter where we put the pond. I'm thinking. When are the workers gonna get here? The construction workers. Well, we gotta clear out some of the space before they can do anything. So they should be here within an hour or two, which means we got to get to work and we got to get some headers. So let's head to the shop and get those. All right, boss man, follow me. We're going to pick up our corn heads. I think there's 16 row corn heads folding so we can head down the road with them. Put on your hazards, your flashers. Try and make this tight turn, man. That's what I love about these combines. They're really good at turning for how big they are. Absolutely. Mine's got tracks. Boss man's just got the big wide tires in the front. And I got wide ones in the back. All right, here we go. Here, I guess, boss man, I forgot to tell you, only mine is folding, so good luck going down the road. Wait, 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 what? Yeah. Mine doesn't fold? No. There's no way I'm fitting down the road. Well, really what we should do is we should buy a trailer for it and then go from there, but honestly, I don't want to deal with that, and we got to harvest the corn ASAP, so just hook up, head down the road, man. If somebody's in your way, boss man, just turn on the header. They'll run away. All right, I'm going to go down the main roads because I'm definitely not fitting on the streets we came here on. Here he comes. He's coming down the road. Boss man, I don't know if you're making it through our gate. You're going to have to find a back way. Man, we don't have a back way. That's I'm, why... We're going to have to like drive through like the edge of the river if we want to get in that way. Yeah, we should probably just get a trailer for that header. I guess I forgot about our entrance. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm going to try it. Uh, there we're you going, go. We're just going. floor it, man. Oh, no. 
Oh no. We're just using it Come for on. one year, so okay, you're free. Nice. Dude, like a glove. Watch Easy. out, a couple doors. Yeah, doghouse might be a bit damaged. It's okay. Let's make sure the old Mac Daddy starts. There we go. That was an easy start. Our first corn's going in the combine. Oh, you're missing a few rolls oh, already. Back her up, back her up, back her up. We cannot miss oh, any. Already? That's the number one rule, man. Okay. Oh, okay, you're okay. backing over them. It's okay. That's uh, some uh, flavor. The old Mac Daddy is full of yellow gold, so let's go turn her in, see how much money we make. What do you think that's gonna sell for? 80,000 buckaroos. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. I'm thinking, uh, let's go 70,000. All right, I can look on my phone real quick, see which place is giving us the most money for corn. I should probably do that before I get on the road here. All right, let's see if we can make this turn the best price right now. It's not too good. It's up, it's like 495 at the train to Cheyenne. So the train heading to Cheyenne, Wyoming, can I make the turn? Is giving us the best basis right now. Okay, let's see if we can make this turn too. Don't hit the little marker. Here we go. We're pulling in. It's a tight squeeze in here. The train's going by actually right now. That's pretty cool. And swing wide. Everything's just straightened out real good and we'll start unloading. There we go. The first so we have, there's four sections, two per trailer that we'll be doing and unloading here. Really nice trailer here. Boss man got us. There we go. We unloaded the whole trailer. Now we gotta go run a train. It sounds like it's a thousand bucks. So maybe it, it was actually worth it to go somewhere else and we'd have to pay for the train. But we'll go check that out first. First time doing this, obviously first time farming. So we gotta kind of figure out how this works. All right, let's see here. You come here and you rent a train. All right, now the train is on its way. It's gonna pick up our grain. It'll come out of this lake here. All the grain's being stored right now. And then it'll go into, you know, the train cart. There's the cart that's gonna take the grain. All right, then here's our corn, 75,000 liters. Hit that and it's starting to fill up. There we go. There's the corn filling up. I better get out of here before I drown. Don't wanna get stuck in this corn. That's awesome. There we go. Do you want to sell the load of grain in train to Cheyenne? Yes. All right. And we got $37,400 divided three ways. I got 12,466 along with Steve and Bossman. Even though Steve isn't working today, we still on the land three ways. We're just getting back to the farm. Harvest is going good. Bossman knocked out so much of the field. I don't think we have much left. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh, that's the restaurant, boss man. Radio in. I'm just getting back. I like the log cabin kind of feel. It's very homey. Yeah, we got our tables out here. There's obviously indoor dining as well. These lights will kick in automatically, but obviously we also can manually control them if we do choose. This is awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Plenty of seating out here. Oh, yeah. Like, we're going to be having tons of people. And my thought, too, with this is, you know... At first, we're only going to have this for people who are at the RV park, but we're still pretty small. So at some point, we can start letting other people in who are just, you know, stopping through the town. And hopefully that encourages them to rent out a spot. Perfect. We're going to start making money off this restaurant now. Obviously, we're making money off the cornfield. As time goes on, the RV park is going to keep growing. So our plan is like a small lake slash pond. That's going to bring in a lot of people. They can do fishing, you know, right off their back door when they get out of the RV. Lots going on, boss man. Let's finish up this corn. All right. Let's do it. All right, I'm following boss man. He loaded up the grain cart and what we're doing now is we're heading to the feed store. So the prices are pretty close here. It looks a little small. Yeah, you're going to drive in there and hopefully be able to unload your all grain to it. Or boss man, what we're going to do is I'll pull under, unload my semi, and then you can reload my semi and then I'll pull under again. Yeah, probably have to do that. I'll try sticking my auger through the side there, but yeah. you go in first. There we go. It's working. I'll wait for you to go there. There you go. You're almost done. Good work. All right, that was... 16 and a half grand. Okay, 16 and a half grand. Write that down and then I'll unload mine. We'll add it together. Here she goes. I wish we could dump all these at the same time. That's right. This is a lot. I should have swung a bit wider too. You're going to need to just floor it. All right. Well, that was 8,150 bucks right there. Uh oh, boss man spinning. This isn't good, guys. Yeah, these is way too steep, and our Mac doesn't have that much horsepower. All right, man. Uh, try and just pump the brakes and then slip the clutch. There you go. Yeah, you're gonna have to work it a bit here. Oh, jeez, shifting through these gears. Okay, think we're in the clear. Yep, you should be good to unload. So we made fifty thousand dollars off that whole truckload. A little less than the other place, but still good so each of us are gonna take home sixteen thousand five hundred dollars just about and that's it for today we harvested all the corn good work boss man yeah good work to you too well we're gonna go park all the equipment put everything away thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next one
Hee <laughs> hee!